I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series where we are answering questions of our subscribers. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now this question is based on trigonometric functions. We'll see how to find equation of a sinusoidal function from given conditions. The graph of sinusoidal function passes through 0, 1, has a maximum point at pi by 2, 3, and subsequent maximum point at 7 pi by 6, 3. Determine sine cosine function. This question is very unique since you do not have the minimum point information or uh, any related point which could directly give you the answer. So we need to analyze what is given to us, that is the point zero, 01 and the two maximum points. Now let me just uh, sketch a sine function here, a sine wave, and then we'll try to figure out how to get equation of such conditions. Okay, so, so we are given that one maximum is at pi by 2, 3, the other one is at 7 pi by 6, 3. So let us say this is one of our maximums, which is at pi by 2, 3. The other maximum is at 7 pi by 6, 3. Now that gives you the time period, correct? So from these two maximums, we can find the time period. So t, the time period for us will be 7 pi by 6 minus pi by 2, right? Now, we have to have same denominators, so it will be 7 pi by 6 minus, multiplying by 3 gives us 3 pi by 6. So we get a time period of 4 pi by 6. So that becomes the time period. So it's always a good idea to write all the terms in terms of pi by 6 when you have this kind of time period. Great. Now, uh, let me draw the axis of this, which will go right through the center, kind of like this, right? So what do you notice here? We notice that each quarter of the cycle is pi by 6 away, right? So we have 4 pi by 6 between them. That means... 1 pi by 6, 2 pi by 6, 3 pi by 6, and 4 pi by 6. So that is the time period. So we could write this as, if this is, we could write this as 3 pi by 6. So this point here is 3 pi by 6, okay? Now here we have 4 pi by 6. This is 5 pi by 6. This is 6 pi by 6, and then this is 7 pi by 6. Does it make sense to you, correct? So when we are saying time period is 4 pi by 6, then each quarter is a pi by 6 away, right? So that means each quarter is pi by 6 away. So if you move towards the left side, what do you get? This point will be... 2 pi by 6, correct? And then here we have pi by 6. And then here we have 0 pi by 6, correct? Or just 0. And then here we are going to have minus pi by 6. Is that clear to you? So each unit, rather each quarter, is pi by 6 away. Now we are given that there is a point which is at 0, 1. That means this particular point is at 0, 1, right? So, so x value is 0 and the y value is 1. So that can help us to sketch the, the axis, right? So the axis here, this point is at 0 and the height should be 1. So that becomes your y axis, correct? Now from here, if this is, this point is 0, 1. So we are saying this point here is 0, 1. That means above this point, 
we have two units, correct? That will make it three, right? So from here, two units below will be from the symmetry. This is three up, so three down. So this will be at two units below this, correct? So, so what we have here is from one, to go to the maximum, that means amplitude is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2, right? 0, 1 is on the axis, perfect, as you can see from here, right? So, so the minimum value, or I can now actually sketch the axis also. This will be at minus 1. Does it make sense to you? So, two units above zero, so add two, and if you subtract two, you get minus one. So, this comes at minus one. So, now it is very clear that the wave has a minimum of minus one, right? So, so, the, so, so between one and minus one, we are going to have the axis, so somewhere like here. So, let me draw this. So that becomes the x-axis and this becomes the y-axis. So that becomes your sinusoidal function. Perfect. Now we know all the details to provide you with the equation. So from here we can write sine function should be what? We have amplitude of 2. As far as the sine wave is concerned, it starts from the axis itself. So we'll take starting point as 2 pi by 6, right, so moving upwards, right, which means 2 pi by 6 is as good as pi by 3, right, which is pi by 3 for us, or pi by 3, correct? Amplitude is 2. So we could write this as y equals 2, amplitude of 2, sine of k. Uh, let me write down the k which is 2 pi by t. Let's write down here itself. So k equals to 2 pi by the time period t which gives us 2 pi divided by 4 pi by 6, right? So that gives you pi and pi cancels. So that gives you a value of 3. So sine 3 phase shift. Since the sine wave starts after pi by 3, it will be x minus pi by 3. And the axis is moved up by 1 unit. So we get plus 1. Do you get an idea? So that is how you are going to get the sine function. Perfect. Now once you know all these parameters, you can actually write the cosine function also. So I'd like you to pause the video, write down the cosine function, and then check with my solution. So let me write down here cosine function. Will be y equals to 2 cos of, only thing which changes is phase shift. For a cos function, it starts with maximum, right? So in this case, that could be treated as the starting point for the cos function which is pi by 6 to the left. So we could write this as x plus pi by 6. You get an idea, right? And x is, has been shifted one unit up. Perfect. So that is how you could actually get both sine and cosine functions of this particular wave. However, it's very tricky. You need to analyze the situation properly and show that the point zero 01 actually lies on the axis and that helps us to provide the correct solution for the given question. I hope you find this solution interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.